Princess of Frog is a classic love story where you really feel like you're with these characters that they find love that's been in front of them the whole time. And it's a takeoff on the classic Frog Princess story. First off, they're going to see 2D animation that they haven't seen in a while. And the artistry and the beauty of that. And the two directors, Ron and John, are fantastic storytellers. And then to have it as a musical with uh, Randy Newman's music, it just uh, kind of brought it all together. It's very exciting, very beautiful movie. I suppose you want a kiss. Kissing would be nice, yes? <laughs> I am Prince Navin. I'm Antonia. Our heroine Tiana is played by uh, Anika Nani Rose, and Prince Naveen is Bruno Campos, and Keith David is our villain, Dr. Facilier. He's just a fantastic voice, great presence. And uh, Jim Cummings is our uh, character, Ray the Firefly. And we have uh, Oprah Winfrey is the, uh, the mother of our Tiana character, and she does a fantastic job. Sound-wise, I mean, we definitely, uh, just starting off with the dialect and the, uh, you know, the New Orleans sound, they definitely, we really wanted to capture that. Uh, Jim Cummings, who's the voice of Ray, actually is Cajun, and that was because they meet him in the, in the bayou, they really wanted someone with a Cajun feel, so that was very important. The directors were really interested in maintaining authenticity. So they actually sent me to New Orleans and I was able to go and, and spend a lot of time recording there. I recorded uh, everything I could in New Orleans, Jackson Square, uh, Bourbon Street, Royal Street, and we went recording in the swamp the, the first time and it was really an amazing experience. And the, the chief difference to New Orleans in the modern time to make it match you know, the time in the 1920s is we couldn't have traffic. And uh, so you have to find those places. And what we found was Royal Street was, uh, was the one, it's the, basically a shopping street. And uh, we had a, a lot of luck there. It's an interesting combination of kind of a live action approach where we've got the real sounds of New Orleans, but then also stepping it into a little bit of a fantasy world where we're able to step out. And I mean, that's the beauty of animation. We can take our audience in a lot of different ways with sound, all depending on what the story is doing. Even though everything is, is scripted and we have you know lines and, and the actors go go from the lines, there's a, there's a lot of great improv. A lot of times it's you get the line a couple times and then sort of let them have fun with it. And a, and a lot of times they come up with some really great stuff. When we're recording, we are always writing the levels around. We're trying to chase. Uh, are they going to yell? Are they going to scream? Are they going to get quiet? And so the faders are always moving around, and I try and do it without them noticing. The whole thing of our, of our job is control the volume without anybody knowing that you're controlling the volume. Well, one of the environments that the audience is going to be experiencing is a riverboat. And it looks like an exact replica of the Mark Twain ride at Disneyland. And I thought, well, how cool would it be to get the actual sounds of the Mark Twain ride in the film? You know, because I know there's going to be a tie-in uh, with the movie. So uh, I called up Disney and they said, yeah, sure, come in at 5 in the morning. And so I went out there with uh, five different other recorders. We had six recorders there and we were recording every single aspect of this riverboat. Animation is, uh, it, in, in a lot of ways, it's, it's similar to live action. I mean, you're, you have the same end, end result to create an enjoyable movie that looks and sounds great. But certainly it's, it's a lot of work to gather all those sounds and, you know, build everything up from scratch. You do have the option to experiment, change, you know, through character development, change the way the character looks, change the animation of how he's acting, and change the voice and vocal performance and re-record that and get this cool blending of the two. Every single song I love. Every single song is a great toe tapper and it gives us the, the latitude to play some pretty specific sound effects without getting in the way. All ages, all, you know, kids, boys, girls love the movie because of the message, because of the story, and, uh, and I think that's great. I think that's what we want, you know, as a group. I think that's, you know, filmmaking should, should be a, you know, reaching out to, to as many people as possible. You know? So I, I think the movie does that. <laughs>